So much time and planning goes into rebuilding a home after a wildfire. Clearing the debris is just one step. I was relieved that we were at the top, but also know that it's just a small, small component of the journey that we're going to have to go on. Rebecca Whalen and her family lived in a home in the Cornerstone neighborhood in Louisville. Her property will be one of the first to see crews removing debris through the county's program. There are days when you just want to bury your head in the sand and just be like, this is all too much. This part of the process is bringing mixed emotions, even when Whalen doesn't have to wait as long as others. It again, it is a small piece of the larger picture. To decide which property owners get to go first, the county looked at several factors, including income, race, and environmental hazards. That was based on guidance from FEMA. Right now, people who are scheduled last may not see crews until at least August. They could be looking at the back end of a very long line of people waiting not only to get building permits, but to find architects and to find contractors and just find any way to get back into their home. Jason Serbu is an architect who's helping several families rebuild. He says some of his clients opted out of the county's program. The time frame for the rebuild could be anywhere, if you're fortunate, 12 months at the minimum, up to 24 months or more if you're at the back of the line. Clearing the lots is just one step, part of a long and difficult process families are facing to get back home. We're just a bit exhausted at this point, and we know that it's just going to be such a marathon. Jason Serbu is urging people to find an architect, find a builder right now, even if the debris removal won't happen for a few more months. He says there was a high demand for this work even before the fire, and now people are really scrambling to find professionals who can help out, Jenny. Oh, and that's so true. Everything's been hard to build. Buy a house, build a house for a while now, and then you add this on top of it. Kelly Rinke, thank you. Thanks.